Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys how I put on my pink wig that so many of you had questions about. So many of you didn't believe that it was a wig. It was definitely a wig. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how I put my wigs on, how I make them look a little more natural. Like, I honestly don't see the difference in wearing a wig and wearing hair extensions. Like, it's the same thing in my opinion. A lot of people, though, it's not their same opinion, but I see a lot more people wearing wigs and I'm excited about it. And so many of you were gassed up about this pink wig that you were like, show us what you did. So I was like, yay, people are excited about the wigs. I have a very extensive wig collection. Maybe one day I will show you guys. Um, I love wigs. I think they're great for protective styling. Like if you've got damaged hair and you just don't want to do a lot to your hair, you just want to kind of give it a break. I think wigs are great for that because you're just kind of hiding your hair underneath, but you still look cute on the outside. So, um, a lot of my wigs are fun, funky colors because, I mean, I do have natural wigs too, but a lot of them are fun, funky colors because me personally, I wish I could have different hair every single day, length, texture, color, everything. So wigs to me are super fun, they're expressive, and again, they are just a safe way to do your hair, especially if you have damaged hair. So just keep that in mind. My hair is just still up for when I was doing my makeup because I was like, I'm just gonna throw a wig on anyway, so I'm not gonna do my hair for this video. <laughs> um, but it is a little bit harder for me to put in my wigs because I have um, a lot of hair currently because they have tape and extensions, but I'm getting my tape ins taken out on Saturday. Today is... Wednesday um, so it'll be a lot easier for me to put my wigs on and not have to worry about like really getting my hair down to my head because I can't braid my hair down to my head because I have tape and extensions <laughs> so uh, let me show you guys the wig just in case you didn't believe me this is her right here I got her from a local beauty supply store if you live in the St. Pete Clearwater area the beauty supply store that I go to for all my wigs is called Sunny's Beauty Mart it's off central and it is wig heaven they have so many wigs and you can try the wigs on for like a dollar you can try i think like five wigs on for a dollar <laughs> they gotta make their money too so she is a synthetic wig which means she is not made out of human hair but she is a heat safe synthetic wig um which means you can straighten it you can curl it the curls that you see in here are already from the wig it was a lot shorter when i got it because the curls were a lot tighter but i just consistently brushed the wig so that it gives it a little bit more length um, most of my colored wigs do have roots on them so that I am able to blend my natural hair in with the wigs. Just keep that in mind. If you want to get like a funky color, try to get one that has a little bit of root action happening. She is a lace front wig, but I've already cut the lace off obviously because I've worn her and I've added a little bit of a concealer to her scalp. Um, I use powder. I'm going to show you what I do today just in case you've never put on a wig or you've never seen somebody put on a wig themselves. Uh, I did scour the internet. This is not a sponsor video. I just have to say that out first because uh, I see you guys in the comments. But I did scour the internet and I found what I think is this exact wig. When I buy my wigs from the Beauty Mart, they just kind of make up a price on the spot. There's no tags on them. There's no nothing so they can charge you whatever they want. So I think I found this exact wig and I will link it in the bottom bar for you guys. And it's only like 35 bucks, 30 or 40 bucks. If it's not this exact wig, it's pretty damn close. Flo, who? Why? 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 <sighs> okay, so like I said, I have a lot of hair to put up, so I just kind of try to get my hair as tight down to my head as I possibly can. I'm going to part my hair first because we're going to put the wig on first just as it is. So I'm going to just part my hair um, like pretty much how the wig is parted. It is a side part on the wig, so that works. And then I'm just going to leave some hair out, like the perimeter of my hair. I don't need a lot. Just a little bit. I like to wear them like half up, half down. Um, so I need a little bit of my own hair so that it looks more natural. You can do this after you put your wig cap on, um, but I just do it beforehand. I'm just going to get my hair um, in to the nape of my neck. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna tie it in a hair tie as low as I can on my neck. All right, and then I'm just gonna split it into two and then take this piece and bobby pin it down like this. And bobby pin this down. Okay, so now that we have our hair just like as flat as I'm gonna get it for the time being, you can put on your wig cap. So I just start mine right where my hair leave out is, so right like where that little part is is where my wig cap goes. 
I'm having flashbacks to my purple alien. <laughs> All right, so once our wig cap is on, we can put on our wig. So I'm just going to take her off my styrofoam head. Um, I get these from Amazon. Uh, they're like $2. I buy them in bulk. I usually buy them by like 6 And for 6 it's like, I don't know, like less than 10 bucks. If you've never put on a wig before or you don't really know about wigs, how you have how you secure the wig to your head is you clip it in, like you slide these clips into your head. So this wig has three. It has one at the nape of the neck and then it has two here at the side. You can see them right there. What you want to make sure when you put your wig on is you're paying attention to where your clips are. So when you go to like slide it in, you can just reach under and grab it and put it in place. Um, that's a mistake that I've kind of learned through putting on wigs I would forget where they were and then I try to grab them and they'd be sliding all over the place so just keep in mind where your clips are so that it's easier for you and then you also have these little straps here in the back that you can use to adjust it to make your wig smaller or larger for your head I put it like in a bucket like this like upside down and then I put my head into it <laughs> that makes sense to you guys so this is just the wig sitting on my head. It's not clipped into place yet. So I'm just going to start adjusting it. All right, so I'm just gonna clip this into place, slide it into place. So I have my clip here in my hand. So push that in. And our other one is here. Okay, okay. So now I'm gonna give it a brush again. Okay, so here is our wig just on. I haven't done anything special to it, I've just basically put it on and I think it looks pretty natural already just because this is the front of my natural hairline so it's just kind of disguising the wig but if you don't want to leave your natural hair out you don't have to you can definitely wear the wig all the way to the front of your parts I just think that this way it kind of gives it more of an illusion of actually being your hair so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to lighten up this part as you can see my part is pretty white and the wig just it's it's just not. Um, so what I like to do is I like to use actually powder instead of a cream concealer, but you can use either or. You just wanna make sure that you're using something that's pretty close to your natural skin tone. Um, so I'm using my face powder that I usually use to set my face with, and I'm just using a flat brush, which kind of just fits perfectly in to here. So I'm just gonna go over that line and then push this all the way back. I'm also going to put the powder on my natural scalp so that it all just blends with each other. And you just rub your finger over it so it looks a little more natural. You can go in and pluck hairs out, but no, I've done that before and I just think that this is easier. Okay. So I am gonna be pulling the hair up on this wig, but if I were to wear this wig down, I just wanted to show you guys. So you can kind of see like a little bald spot here because that's exactly where the wig cap and the wig starts. So it's kind of pulling my hair. So what I do if I wear the wig down is I just take some brow powder, like a darker color, and I come in here and I'll just fill this in with powder. so that you're not able to see where your hair starts and the wig starts. And again, that is why I like my colorful wigs to have a little bit of root with them. So it just, it's a lot, it's a lot easier to blend your hair with it. So I'm just going to pull my hair that I left out. We're just going to pull that back with the wig hair. You wanna be careful because you don't want to pull it up so much that you see like how the wig is attached. And then this just gives the illusion that the hair is just all coming out of your own head. And just keep messing with it. You might have to pull it up and pull it down a few times until you get it to where you want and it's not like, you know, major track showing or anything like that. Um, and then you're just going to want to secure it with a hair tie. Give it a good tug. And then just brush this out too because like I said, it gets knotty easily. So you can just keep messing with it. You can hit it with a curling iron if you want it to kind of change its shape. I just usually just mess with the hair because it is synthetic hair. So when you mess with it, it'll just, it usually just ends up doing what you want if you just keep messing with it enough. You can also take this hairstyle and you can wear it um, like in a top knot. So all you have to do is just basically do it how you usually do it. It's just easier if you give this hair a little bit of a twist so it's not just super flat. And then you can just wrap it around 
But you can also wear it in the top knot if you don't want to like wear the waterfall spout or whatever, but I like the waterfall spout. And then my final step that I like to do is I just like to brush all my baby hairs down so it doesn't look like so just like slappy in here. So I just take a toothbrush. I actually steal these from the W when I go. I always ask for them to give me a toothbrush because it's like the best baby hair toothbrush ever. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of some paste. This is actually Jeremy's paste. Don't tell him. And then I'm just going to get these baby hairs to lay a little flatter on my head. I see people like laser their baby hairs off and I'm just like, why would anybody get rid of their baby hairs? Like, I, like no, no, no. So that is how I do it. That's how I apply my wigs to make them look just a little bit more natural. I mean, in my opinion, but if anybody was like, are you wearing a wig? I'd be like, yes. Yes, I am. And you want to know where I got it, don't you? So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you try out just trying on wigs. Remember, with anything, practice makes perfect. I mean, I really want to make my own wigs now. I just think wigs are too fun to not wear all the time. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you try it out. If you do, tag me on Instagram, send them to me on Twitter. I wanna see you. And uh, check the bottom bar again if you guys want to get this wig. Again, I don't know if it is the exact wig, but I feel like it is super duper similar to it. So again, I hope you guys enjoy it. I don't have anything else to tell you guys, except I love you. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.